<clears throat> drink, drink a shot of pickle juice, you know? <sighs> Why? Because pickle juice is good. <sighs> and good for you. Yummy. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the darkest podcast on the internet, where we do not have lights. Um, <laughs> This is Tagam. I forgot my intro. I am your co-host, Meg Reds fan, here with my co-host, the Pale Bread Painter. And today, we don't have a lot of topics, so we will have to ramble. I drink pickle juice. <clears throat> it comes back in, and there is a nail sticking, <laughs> sticking out of the back of his head. And it's like deep in the back Jesus. of his head. Yeah, didn't he die? Yeah, yeah I killed him. Okay. <laughs> You know, I just needed a, I needed a refresher yeah. to remember. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> ah, the orgy server, of course. <laughs> yes, the orgy server. That's crazy. There's drama in the le- like the Lego Battles Reddit. I guess. <laughs> we used to play like I, three people on a Chromebook, which you have to understand yes. that is the most cramped keyboard. We had three fans. <laughs> You're like shut down. It's like all right, shutting down. Right, like no, no. Beware of the well. Sometimes you can still hear them at night whispering, Arigato. (laughs) (laughs) I saw a video today where they built the Five Nights at Freddy's one location. Like, from scratch. That's That's actually pretty cool. So they had... I didn't finish it because I was trying to play the Half-Life 2 beta, but I oh, mm-hmm. but I was like downloading and watching this at the same time, and yeah. um, they were, and they like had this, they like did the tiles, they painted the walls with like the red stripes, and it looked really good, and they got a bunch of costumes for like the animatronics, obviously, mm-hmm. and um, the way they did it is they had like. A bunch of like secret passageways that the animatronics could walk through. Um Ooh. like so they could get from one place to another. Which I mean I understand uh, excuse me. I understand why. <laughs> but at the same time I think it'd be really cool if you like actually saw them like walking down the hallway, like towards you. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty that'd cool. Be, but it does so make awesome. sense to be like, you know, you look at the camera and like let's say you're Bonnie and you're standing in the kitchen or not the kitchen, the dining room or play room or whatever it's called <laughs> and um it's called the party room the room right next to the stage oh wait. yeah okay anyways so say so you're standing there i then look away at foxy and then i look back and then you're just like gone and then i like, check around the cameras and i cannot find you and then you're just like standing in the supply closet like staring at me I'm like oh <laughs> so i guess that's kind of <laughs> scary so i take it back mm-hmm. Um, but uh, imagine if you saw the animatronics just running from location to location. <laughs> yeah, just like sprint, just like jogging. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That would also be kind of terrifying, low-key. Yeah. Just seeing this giant, like, what, eight, seven, eight-foot animatronic sprinting through the hallways. Well, that's, like, what, Jesus. that's like Foxy's whole thing, sprinting. Yeah. yeah. He did not skip leg day. He Which is weird, because he's a pirate. Not a lot of space to run around on a boat, you know? They're also known for having peg legs. That too. Yeah, because of Lyme disease. Because they, yep. they don't have oranges or citrus. They need more lemons in their life. That's crazy. Anyways, so yeah, they have like... So you have, your pe- you have the people that are playing in the control room or the security room. And then like there's a wall, and then there's like a hidden room, or, like a bunch of people are like like showrunners essentially when they're like telling like okay bonnie move to supply closet and then bonnie would move to supply closet you know and such and such gotcha. so they have like your pieces in and they're yeah, being yeah, told yeah. where to go i think i didn't get to the end but i'm pretty sure that's how it was supposed to be working you should definitely send that to me i was going to and then I realized how bad of a friend you were, and then I like kind of was like, "Yeah, wow. he'll just like not wow. res- he'll just like not respond to me anyway, so I'm just not gonna send it to him." <laughs> Dang, that's Anyways. crazy. I mean, I'm not gonna like throw you under the bus or anything. Just like you're the worst friend I've ever had. Um, but that's like you know neither here nor there. Bro, you would not um, be- like. It took me like a month before I ended up watching the um the speed run of Security <laughs> Breach. 
Like it took me so long to get around to it. I I did get to it, and it was really cool. Yeah. Um. (laughs) So yeah, I mean, it's really cool, and I'm for for sure it'd be terrifying. But yeah. Remember? Did you ever watch that? Um. Game theory, like when he had a YouTube red show and he did real life FNAF. Oh yes, yes, it was the only free episode. <laughs> yeah, it was close to that. Mhm. See, that was super cool too. Mhm. But that was like Finance at Candies, and who cares about yeah, dogs? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because they had to be somewhat off brand because Scott was still, you know getting into merchandising and stuff and copywriting things. Right. But yeah. Oh, man. That was also really cool. I would love to do a real-life Five Nights at Freddy's experience. That would be so Coming fun. Coming this Friday, your two <laughs> favorite co-hosts turn a regular old barn into FNAF. That's what we should do. We should upscale and not even like go like, oh yeah, well, they did FNAF one. Let's do FNAF two. No, no, we're doing security breach. We're rebuilding no. the mall. Just the two of us. <laughs> yes. Just the oh two of us. God. We are going in completely blind on how to do anything construction related, and we are deconstructing. We're going to Washington Square Mall. I should, probably shouldn't name drop, but that's oh where God. we're going. <gasps> they already no! don't have no. They already have no business. We just go there, no. tear it all down, put in a couple statues, put in a couple. Uh, no. strollers to hide in. Build a second floor. <laughs> Build a second floor. Yeah, add on a story. Add on some basements, you know. Honestly, it's not that bad. We gotta hire... We gotta hire a Vanessa. Um, and Vanessa can be Vanny, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Um, <laughs> it's Vanessa and Bunny. Do you get friends. it, though? It's like Vanessa and Bunny put together Vanny. Anyways, People um... People still arguing about that actually like people are still arguing if they're the same person or not because it's like oh it's so obvious it can't be true exactly and that's my thing i'm like i don't want it to be true because it's too obvious but we're not talking about fnaf i just wanted to say i think it'd be really funny if like two random dudes like we saw you do that so we're gonna build the entire pizza plex (laughs) just the two of us yeah dream that would be Oh my god, that would be amazing. And then we're going to go bankrupt. We're going to be able to play it, it be... once and then run out of money. <laughs> I think it would be funny that if, like, we were so busy with making the mall realistic, we just started running a mall. <laughs> <laughs> like, completely forgets the original goal of, like, okay, yeah, this is, like, a one-time thing. Nah, we just own a mall just that we run now. <laughs> opens our own version of a pizza plex. Literally. That'd that's, be hilarious. That's what I'm not imagining. <laughs> It's like, oh man, business is booming, but we, we, we gotta gotta get more so that it's realistic for the game, yeah. you know? <laughs> we don't talk about Bonnie Bull. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking oh of, goodness. we don't talk about Bonnie Bull. Um, we don't talk about There's it. a chapter in... Okay, this is a dumb transition. But <laughs> <laughs> I've like gone into a wormhole of Half-Life 2 content because I'm like, I watched a video recently where someone was like talking about, I don't even remember, oh like the 50 things you missed in Half-Life 2 or like the 50 like glitches Mm -hmm. and whatever and like just little things you don't notice and I noticed he had all the achievements and that was like all I needed and I was like, you know what, (laughs) I'm gonna make an entire video where I go and get all the achievements. So that's Amazing. what I've been doing for a couple days. That would take forever to like edit. Yeah. Because you'd have to edit out a lot, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. So I was yesterday we like messaged maybe once cuz we don't talk at all cuz we hate each other actually. <laughs> but um I was like so what I would do is I would be looking like watching the footage and then at the same time writing a script to like use like a voiceover kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, and I'm also just like, I know the game really well, and I just know the achievements I needed to do. So I like, and I know where they all are. So I'm kind of just like skimming through and writing down what I'm doing, and then I skim to where the achievement is actually gathered, or maybe like a funny thing or something. Like there's the part right at the beginning because you can't sprint until you put on the HEV suit, and it's a while mm-hmm. before you can get put that on at the beginning. So, and then you're being chased by, <laughs> by combine police officers. 
And so I'm just saying, I'm just a power walker. I'm just a power walker. Please leave me alone. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, and I mean, I'd already unlocked most of the achievements. I had, like, eight I just had, I missed, and they're all pretty difficult. So, that's coming on the Mega Red Sand channel in maybe this week, maybe next week. Hopefully this week, probably next week. Because... So I still have how to beat the game. Anyway? But what? How long is the video? It's not done yet, but it'll probably be 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. Fair enough, fair enough. It just has a full, like, achievement log within 20, 30 minutes. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm excited to see that one. Yeah. Good thing I have notifications on. Remember to ring that bell. Ring the bell, bell guys. Ring the bell. <laughs> Ugh, man so <laughs> and in my process of like not only have I been like playing the game now but I've also been like getting into like what the game looked because between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 there was like six years of development time because mm -hmm. Half-Life 2 was in 2004 and Half-Life 1 was 1998 and so like I've been going yeah. through this like because a bunch of people are, like, compiling, like, beta details. Because, like, City 17 used to be a lot different and, like, smoggier and, like, people had to wear gas masks or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And now they obviously don't do that. And also was, like, more American and less post-Soviet, which it is now. Um, well, uh, sure. when it came out. I guess not now, because that was a while so ago. So you're saying a remade version of Half-Life 2, or...? So, it's, like, people... Because, okay, in, like, 2003 or 2, one of those... A while ago, <laughs> before the game originally came out, some Russian hackers, like, hacked into Valve and, like, got data files for Half-Life 2 before it came out. Um, mm -hmm. And also, like, just files and such. And they were able to... Well, they got arrested, but the people that got the <laughs> files were able to, um, like, reconstruct... They're trying to reconstruct the game as it was before it became what it is. So... Gotcha. Yeah, and there's, like, a bunch of mods you can, like, play the game. Well, in that quotes. I played, like, two today, and they're, like, maybe an hour. Um, and then they just end, because mm -hmm. they're in still, like, being made or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, it's very different. I mean, it's definitely cool. fun, but it's like at the same time, I'm like glad they went the direction they did with the original, with like the Half Life that came out actually, mm -hmm. because it used to be so cartoonishly evil. Um, <laughs> because like, so they would have originally, well, okay, let's do some context for Half Life lore for like 30 minutes. Um, so the basic premise is that you're Gordon Freeman. Who, are, who has helped? Who has come out of stasis because the G-Man was like, "It's your time." The wrong man in all the right places. Whatever, whatever. Oh, wait, no, the right man in all the wrong. Whatever, doesn't matter. Anyways, Something. so he brings you out of stasis, and you help the resistance. Who the only reason the combine haven't like fully enslaved them is because the combine can't figure out like domestic teleportation. They can teleport from like dimension to dimension, but they cannot teleport within the same like dimension. Whatever. Um, and the humans, because of their ingenuity or whatever, they can figure it out. So they're trying to, so, okay, and there's someone in the resistance that's a traitor, and it works actually for Dr. Breen, who is the, what is he called, the human chancellor or something? Um, mm -hmm. he basically sold out the human race so that he wouldn't, so he would have a power position and not die. Um, and one of the people that are in the resistance is a bad guy. And they sold out Eli Vance's research because he's like working on the teleporter. And um, so that happens. They figure out teleportation. And like the other two episodes happen because it's like Half Life 2 and then Half Life 2 Episode 1, then Episode 2. And then Lost Coast, which never came out. But um, like, oh, what was I saying? So, teleporter. <laughs> um, teleporter. You then. So you go to Black Mesa, you then go to Ravenholm, and you fight off zombies because they there's like a rebel base or something, so they dropped head crab canisters and everyone turned into zombies. And then you go 
to Nova Prospect. Yeah, no. Then you go to Highway 17, you get the G. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I'm just talking about how you play the game. What am I, what was I saying, Nick? Nick, remind me, what was I saying? So you were playing the modded stuff, and you're, you were saying how you appreciated the direction they actually went. Oh, right. Cartoonishly <laughs> evil. Okay, so I got way <laughs> off topic, like I thought I would. <laughs> the Combine in city, like put in place this suppression field, which makes it so that you can't have babies anymore. So the human race oh. is technically dying. Not technically, is dying. Because <laughs> no one can Because no can one can reproduce. reproduce. Um, also, they combine constantly will relocate you after like a few months of being in a certain place. They are sucking up the oceans, like for water, obviously, and resources. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's ruining the earth. Um, and there's this whole place called the Wasteland, which is essentially where water has been dried up. Like, they really sucked all the water away. Um, and, like, now there's a bunch of creatures from Zen, which is a, like, border realm. Where, like, a bunch of other realm, like, dimensions, like, kind of leak in and kind of... It's where you fight the big monster at the end of Half-Life 1. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, they're sucking up all the water. And they're just bad people. Alright. And also... If you join Civil Protection, which is like the police force, um, you get your family gets like captured essentially, and mm -hmm. um, if you are if you kill Gordon Freeman, your reward is you get to either have more ration. No, no, you get more rations as a Civil Protection unit, but it's like just enough so that you don't die, and. <laughs> And if you kill, like, a high-priority target... So if you killed Gordon Freeman, you'd be able to have sex with your wife once. And if, wow. you, and if Gordon Freeman killed you, you, your whole family would die. Or if you just failed to kill him, your family would die. And you would probably also die. Yo, sex one time in my whole life? Sounds yeah. Sounds like it's worth it. Yeah. Um, so... that Okay, that's kind of how the Combine are in the base game. In the beta version, they would, like... So they have, they're pumping, like, toxic gas into the air for, so that certain people can live. Oh, so the, what are those things called? Um, oh. Alien race? Yeah, there's a certain name for it. And they're the thing that Dr. Brain talks to. It doesn't matter. They're an alien. And the only way, they can only breathe, like, toxic gas. So humans can't breathe it. So they have to wear gas masks when they're walking around. And it definitely has a vibe to it, like with everyone having, having gas masks, but it's like, I don't know. I don't care for it. Anyways, <laughs> so they're pumping toxic gas in the air and it will kill someone if they breathe it in without a gas mask. Um, they are, there are these things called manhack arcades where you, as a citizen, it's like an enjoyment zone where you go to like have fun, which already doesn't really make sense for the universe. But you take take control of a man hack and then just kill people, like real people, <laughs> but the people think it's a game. And it's like, I don't, whatever, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, it's weird. I mean, that's kind of cool, but like, whoa. I was like, how do you not know you're killing people? Do you not just see well, man hacks flying around? So, um, did you ever watch Psychopaths, an anime? No. Okay, I'm not a well, weeb. Dude, I only watch in American media. Sorry. In Psychopaths, they have something kind of similar. Um, so, like, in an episode, uh, someone releases a, a phone game or whatever, you know, and in the game, it looks like Flappy you're bird. playing as a chicken. Yeah, yeah, kind of. You look like you're playing as a chicken, just throwing eggs at, like, witches and stuff. You know, it's like, oh, man, these are just, like, little things I have to throw eggs at, and I got to rack up my points. Um, but in all actuality, they're piloting these giant mech suits, shooting rockets at, like, detectives and police officers. Um, they've just, like, put a filter over, like, the actual camera so that it looks different to them. Interesting. So they think they're playing a game while they're actually just killing a bunch of people, and it's wild. Anyways, that is so cool. Depending on how they do it, it could be interesting. But, in my opinion, in the context of the game where they're forcing humans to work and make, like, weapons and technology and whatever, whatever. Like, slaving, enslaving them, essentially. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think it makes sense for them to then give them a entertainment zone <laughs> to like kill people. Because I don't know. To me, that I guess in one one way they said was like made to kill like prisoners or something, or like people that were enemies of the state or something, which I guess makes more sense. But it's still kind of like why even give them an entertainment center at all? You know, it could be cool depending on how they handle it. But if they didn't write it very well, yeah. Well, I mean, the game never came out, and I guess I think people are just like kind of guessing, kind of. Like, they, I think they know it existed at one point in the concept, oh. like, conceptual designing of the game. Gotcha. But so now they're just kind of, it. like... Yeah, that's what the betas are, really. It's, like, people are trying to... They're taking, like, these Guess pieces really. from the files and whatever that were gotten... That were garnered in that hack and, and like, in the <laughs> book and whatever. But they, I don't think yeah. anyone really knows what it would have been quite yet. Um, because they probably stopped writing that entirely because like yeah nah, we want to go in another direction yeah, so yeah. They're like through this um awesome. there are child slaves making like <laughs> um incinerator um, enemies which aren't real anymore or okay. aren't in the game anymore but there are those are pretty cool actually i like i like the incinerator guys because they would like burn bodies and whatever that's pretty that was pretty dope but um <laughs> so they're like Obviously, children's slaves, but obviously they had to get rid of that because of the suppression field, and it wouldn't make sense for a baby to be running around. Oh, um, um, yeah. So, and it's also kind of like, and there's like a, okay, well, let me take a step back to where I said it's kind of like, and then completely stop talking about that. Um, <laughs> that just makes it feel like cartoonish. I mean, not cartoonishly evil, but it's like kind of that point where it's like, okay, I get it. You're a bad guy. You're forcing children to work. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then the other thing, like the last thing that I really noticed was that there is a, like, cartographer, not cartographer, but like a writer's room, essentially, where, like they write down history or whatever. I'm not sure. But they're like people that are sitting in chairs over like a giant void. And I'm guessing if they get something wrong, they just fall. Um, oh. And it's like, okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know if That's it's wild. it could also just be like a vibe you know just having having a giant void under your feet but I don't know so Wait, you don't ever just want to stand over a void no not real I don't have a fear of heights but I mean I'd rather not sounds like a great time you know yeah you wouldn't feel powerful being like yeah I'm standing over well not if I was forced to stand over that void no <laughs> but yeah I just think it was, I think I, I like the direction they went with, like, the suppression field, because that's, like, definitely evil, but it's, like, not just, like, forcing children to work or just shooting babies, you know? It's, like, yeah. they're completely stopping you from having babies. You can't even sneak one out. It's, like, you cannot <laughs> have one. I mean... Well, it's, like, we have a secret hand. underground train of babies. Like, pump is, like, what? Okay. That's not real. <laughs> that's just a joke, but... That's funny. That would On be one hand, funny. uh, that's crazy and like, like terrible. But on the other hand, like that'd be kind of useful, you know? What like, a hey, baby hey, train? Hey. No, no, it's a pressure field. But like, oh. hey, like within this, like, like within this, like, uh, this like fifty foot by fifty foot like area, no babies can be made. So like, you know, are you saying like using it like as a weapon of war? Like you like no more babies? Nah. Nah, or are you I'm just? Saying- or just like in places where they shouldn't have babies. Are you talking about a real life use or like a game use? Yeah, a real life, a real okay. life use. Okay. Think about it. Think about it. I am. I'm just like confused of where you want to use your weapon. Okay. Okay. In like in this field, no babies can be had. Right? Yeah, like, I get no that. I know what a suppression you know? field is. I. Yeah, where yeah. are you going to use it? That's my question. <laughs> you don't see why people. Don't have kids. Oh, you In mean like scenario? put it around your bed as you're having sex? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so it's just a it's just an advanced version of birth control, is what you're saying. Yeah, yes. Okay. That is what I've been trying to get at. <laughs> I thought you were like, like, oh no, I'm gonna put it around my friend's house and then like he can't have he can't have babies or something. I'm like, what? All right, I'm gonna put it over China and they can't have babies anymore. It's like See, what if are you I put talking it over a friend's about? house, they'd probably give me a high five. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, you know. Think about it. America's uh just wear America's a condom. Crazy, <laughs> All right, let's be honest. Do you think anyone's like really does that? No. Because everyone I know are really dumb. They're like, ah, pull out I method. Pull out easy. game. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, yeah, I'm good at pulling out. You know me. I'm like, no, that don't work, my guy. You got five kids, my man, dude. You gotta <laughs> put, wrap it up, I dog. Swear. Bag it up. I swear. I know yeah. so many people. They're like, yeah, my pullout game is wild. I'm so good at this. And then they're like, oh yeah, like two girls pregnant. Like maybe three. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like how? Yeah, like, I've, uh, I've only impregnated like three people so far. So like, my pull-out game pretty strong. How many times you had yeah. sex? Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> god, I'm Wild. I'm three for four, dude. I'm yeah. I mean, Bro, yeah. I, know people that, well, I guess maybe. I, I'll know people who are like, oh yeah, pull-out game strong. Like, girl is, like, maybe pregnant. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm a little late. And they're like, oop. And then they just, like, peace out. I'm like, ah. Yeah, and they crazy. just leave. Yeah, I'm like, what? So are you that saying, are you saying, like, an iPhone app? Like, you're like, hold on, babe. <laughs> Let me turn on the suppression field really quick. Yeah. Yeah, think about it. Think about how useful that would be. That'd be funny if it was, like, an extension to, like, Spotify. It's so, like, you have your mood <gasps> playlist. And it's like, yes. turn on mood playlist. Turn on suppression field. And oh then you just God, can't yeah. have babies. Dude, I think I you can. First... I think you can would... come, but I don't think. I just think it's impossible yeah. to get pregnant. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So. See, like, I'm now imagining like setting up your Alexa. Like, you know, it's like Alexa, play blah blah blah, or like, you know, like do this, and then it's like, okay, okay playing your Spotify sound, turning on the lights, turning them all red or pink or whatever, turn on the suppression field, no babies to be had, you know, like. <laughs> Just, hey, Alexa, baby time. Or wait, no, not baby time. Baby Anti -baby time. time. <laughs> Alexa, yes. sexy times. Turning yes. on suppression field. Turning on mood playlist. Exactly. <laughs> Just imagine it. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's, that's oh. Half-Life. I love Half-Life. Jacob, do you know what song I put on my Alexa for sexy? What? <laughs> I think you know. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> you you had to you had to change our music to be eighteen and up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you know what I'd put on for Alexa? <laughs> oh my god! Turn on oh. Alexa. Turn on Big Man Night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez! Yeah, amazing. I love Half Life. Um, Half Life and Bioshock are two game series is, is, is that I've always been wanting to play. There like, is literally nothing stopping you. Funds and time. There is literally nothing stopping you. Just turn on the suppression field. You don't have to worry about money. <laughs> oh, of course. Um, what was I? I saying? don't know what that's supposed to mean, but <laughs> I don't either, honestly. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe he's saying I should be sex work. I'm like, wait, I can't get pregnant. <laughs> wait. The opposite of a suppression, anti-suppression field. You just have hella babies. I just make people more, I just make people more fertile. Yeah. I, it, the anti-suppression field somehow makes guys able to be pregnant. Exactly. Of course. Of course. Clearly. The bussy field. <laughs> the bussy field. <laughs> literally turns oh guys God. gives guys a vagina in their taint long enough so they can pop oh out a baby no. oh no <laughs> this is this is a wild direction this one's taken this truly is the darkest podcast <laughs> this is the darkest timeline this is what happens when we don't have a picture <laughs> apparently um, we're just looking into a black void you know like, yeah it, gets, it just gets real dark um <laughs> I've played Bioshock 1 and Infinite, and this is going to hurt someone's feelings, um, someone who, I, who listens to the podcast, but honestly, didn't care very much for Bioshock 1. I mean, it, no matter how, what game, when did that come out? When did Bioshock 1 come out? Bioshock. Uno. <laughs> You know what a game you should check out, though, is? 2007? Feels like it came out in 1994. <laughs>
Yeah, like, okay. Here's my thing. Sorry, I'll let you continue in a second. Um, Bioshock 1, it just, it feels old. Like, it's hard to, mm. for me, it's, like, hard to play. Because it just feels old. And the key binds are really whack. Oh, yeah. But, when controls are, like, not, not good. Yeah. That can really ruin an experience. Like, controls are where it's at. Like, your game mechanics can be rough. But, like, as long as I have good controls and I can work around the game mechanics if I can move how I need to, yeah, then we're good. But, yeah, yeah I swear, really dude, I thought I thought Bioshock came out in, like, 2001 because it feels clunky. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just, it felt horrible while I was playing it. Like, oh, I would, man. yeah, I don't mean to bash on Micah's favorite game, I think, but, like, it was awful. <laughs> I had, and Bioshock Infinite was better but it was still kind of like it, it still, still felt waste. kind of clunky, but like yeah. I think it's just the nature of the game because like you have it's like Skyrim where you have like magic as well as like mm-hmm. attacking, and it's like that because you have your lightning and your whatever whatever <laughs> all your I forgot what they're called, but whatever you have all those and so that's like that's set to right click, and so. You and like there's also an ADS function in the game, so you have to set that to like middle mouse or something. But then you have mm-hmm. melee on like V, so it's like well, I'm out of like mouse buttons, but I <laughs> but I don't want to reach down and press V every time I want to go punch something. And like See, I, I can't yeah. imagine not having enough mouse buttons because I have. <laughs> Do you have so a bunch? Always, yeah, so I always set them to mouse four, five, six, yeah. or seven. And not to keep talking about Half Life, but oh my god, dude! It feels it <laughs> feels so good to play. Like, yeah. Oh man. Um. Sorry. Continue. And, it's whatever you're so saying. I'm going to suggest a game that is definitely a relic. Don't know when it came out, but all of the people look like polygons. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two thousand. Like, Imagine taking a picture of someone's face and then wrapping it around like a trapezoid. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, like they like, get a little rough at points. I'm like, oh boy, that's not a face anymore. Like, it's kind of funny some of the bodies because there's a character like she like she leaves logs through the game talking to you, being like, oh my god, I know you exist. Um, I, I'm gonna try to help you from afar, kind of thing. You know. Here's right. what I'm doing. I'm talking to this person. Like, this is what we're doing on the ship. Then you find her corpse or something. And it's like, it, I started laughing. Because <laughs> the entire time it shows the logs, it shows her face and how, like, how she looks. Right. And it's just, like, in, like wrapped around this, like, polygon in a, a screaming fashion. And it looks so derpy. It's really funny. So. Like, <laughs> I just zoomed in. I was like, what is this? Let me guess. But, Let me guess what year this came out. Um. Do you know what year it came out? What what'd you guess? Do you know what year it came out? Don't tell me, but do you know the year? Um I will look it up. Okay. Uh, you go well, ahead then and I'm gonna guess. Stuff. Um Definitely Polygons. Okay, can I get a can I get a hint? What con what game was it is it for a console or a PC. computer? PC. Okay. It was PC. Is it a Macintosh? I'm kidding. Um <laughs> Year polygons wrapped around the face. I'm gonna guess 95, 1995, not 2095. Really, really close. Um, okay. the first game in the series was 1994. The second <gasps> one I'm talking about, when did the second one come out, 1999. Okay, so you were uh four years off. Dang it. Um, but if we were guessing for the first one, you would be spot on. Because they didn't actually update the graphics at all from the first and second. They used the exact same engine. Um, well, so that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, what it's can a I game say? called System Shock 2. It is really fun. Oh, it, okay. Yeah, you talked about that a few days ago. Did I? I, I, I think I, so. I imagine I had to have. I had to have. Because I have been... Like, I was... I have, like, 40 hours in that game because I was just, like, binging, playing through the entire game or something. Um, I started the game on impossible mode. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because Sounds of like you. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, I've nearly made it to the very end of the game, uh, and my brother played this game, and he is so mad at all of my decision making. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, so he said I should play on easy because even on normal, it's supposed to be pretty difficult. So I'm over here on impossible mode where any attack from literally any enemy can one hit KO me. Right. And, uh, so it's literally die, impossible. Pretty much. And yeah. when you die, it uses money um, to like regenerate yourself. Right. If you have no money, you're you're just game over. Right. Like you can reload your save, but like you know, you lose a lot of progress. Um. So, <laughs> I've just kind of been running around, being like, "All right, I'm just gonna dodge and evade." You know. So I've been investing in like agility and like these cybernetic enhancement things, where I can just. It's essentially uh, space wizards. Like, that's how my brother described it to me. Huh. You can use psych psychokinetic abilities to increase your speed. Now I'm running around. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm running away from these robots. I ain't messing with them. <laughs> so, like, sorry. Continue. So is it is it like a first-person game, or is it... Yes, okay. first-person. Um, it... Is, it is really rough, though, because when you pl start the game, you can't use any of the guns. Right. Well, I couldn't, anyway. Um, when you start the game, you kind of have to choose a... In a way, you, you choose which military you're going for, or, like, which, which group or branch. Um, right. I chose, like, the OS or whatever, and what they do is they focus entirely on cybernetic enhancement, so you can use your psychic powers or whatever. Uh, they didn't explain this to you, by the way. You just kind of have to pick one of the three, and then they tell you what it does after. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of mean, but all right. <laughs> right. Um, but the problem with that is they start you off with a couple in the tree and let you use tier two abilities as well really early. Uh -huh. um, but you can't use any guns at all. <laughs> so you're just over here stuck being like, well, I can wrench. That is my weapon. <laughs> I picked up a big clunky wrench. Now I'm thwacking people with it. <laughs> so is that like part of your clan that you can't use guns? Or is it just low level? It's, I don't have the stats for it. Oh. Like, because you have to, um, as you progress through the game, you get these things called cyber mod, which is upgrade stats, learn abilities, um, you know, like upgrade different things. And I had no stats in any gun types at mm. all. So... <laughs> Because and because on impossible mode they give you less modules and also increase the amount of modules needed to increase stat of any kind. Uh -huh. I I could never get to the requirement of you know increasing one of those because I was saving in case I absolutely needed to upgrade. <laughs> so that game was a uh, really tough. <laughs> Did you beat it? Fun. Um, I'm right at the end. Uh, right. I haven't gotten around to eating it, you know, because you know me, I always get to the final boss and I'm like, okay, I'll touch it. <laughs> but, it's really good. You should check it out. Like, it's actually got a kind of interesting story. Like, I was kind of surprised. Like, I did not expect to the story of this. Um, but then something happens when you get to, like, the third or fourth floor of, like, this spaceship. And it's like, oh my god, what is happening? What is this? Like, oh no! Like, I'm like, like the uh, the enemy of the game is, well, there's kind of two enemies. The uh, antagonist. Sort of. Yeah, the two antagonists in a way. Two enemies. Um, there's these flesh creatures. Uh, Love to see it. And they like speak to you into your mind, and they're like, "Why do you hate us? Why do you hate our flesh?" Or something like that, and they like whisper it to you, like really quietly, but like, like they whisper lowly at you, but loudly. And I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> lowly, so but loudly. Okay. It's like someone's whispering right up at your ear. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> right. You know. And like, they're like whispering about like how, like why do you hate flesh and choose the coldness of steel, you know, and how they want to upgrade you with like, you know, natural stuff. I'm like, no, 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 please no. Get away from me. <laughs> I don't want to be you. <laughs> right. Like, you should check it out. It's a very fun old game. 
and the controls are actually pretty decent. <laughs> They're not god awful. Right. The game's a little clunky, just a bit. <laughs> if I get stuck on one invisible wall, I swear I will. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing I've gotten stuck on <laughs> is like the enemies. So um, I got like an invisibility psychic ability or whatever. Um, and I was just invisible trying to run through enemies. But like there was like six hybrid flesh monsters in the hallway like running. And I was trying to run through them. I'm like, bro, get out of my way. Because the second I attack them, it like disappears and they'll all smack me. I'm like, no, leave me alone. So Six. that is a little annoying. Is when you run into like the monsters when the hole is really small. But I would say because knowing you, you'd probably invest. I would just shoot it. You'd probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And you That's... probably aren't going to be playing on impossible. <laughs> no, I like to, I like to have fun in my video games. Um, oh, I've I've been having fun. It's just um, I have fun in really weird. <laughs> yeah, that's, I yeah, I mean sometimes also, I like when it's no? difficult, but it's usually normal for me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. Also, an interesting thing about System Shock Two, apparently, I don't know how that works. But what happened? I, I, you cut out. Uh, System, System Shock Two. You can play multiplayer. Oh. So, I I think we would be able to play together if you ever played that. So that would be interesting. Do they I even, don't know how that works. Do they even have servers up anymore? Well, it's on Steam. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> I imagine. Uh. <laughs> because. Steam, has, you know, can just connect people uh, just over its Steam friend network or whatever. So I'd imagine it just uses that. You know. Because how did old games connect over the internet? I mean, don't they just... Hmm. Well, they usually have, like, servers because... that people can play on. And then well, after a it's... while, the game shuts those down because they cost money. In well, I don't think point. they have like it's multiplayer in the way that we would be connecting to each other's game. You're playing through the story of second person. Okay, well then maybe it so does. I don't think there would. Yeah, I don't think there would be servers. You know, I don't think I'm actually good at computers. I think I was just born into the right time where I was kind of forced mm -hmm. to learn computers. So now I'm just like that's decent fair. enough. I think that's how a lot of people are. ADR. Yeah. Like anyone who's like. Who's good at computers? I put in quotes. Is they, they they've just grown up around them, so they know stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we aren't good. We just know <laughs> people. Like I mean, I did take like cybersecurity stuff, and I like I had no idea what was going on. Like <laughs> <laughs> I I was like Fair I enough. think I failed every single project. I, the only Dang. reason I got through is because I did all the assignments. Um, yeah, because the assignments were stupid easy, and it could also <laughs> just be because I'm like. I don't know, ADHD. Like I just can't remember anything. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily ADHD, but like, like I'll okay. So I'll do everything for like a worksheet, and then like do another worksheet because like everything like builds on each other on itself or mm -hmm. on each other whatever. Um, but for some reason, right when I put it into an environment where I have to do that again, I completely fail. Yeah, it's because like I. I, I try to regurgitate it and do it again in a different environment, and it's just like it's like no, that's wrong. <laughs> and I'm, like, I, I'm literally like copying, pasting the commands. Like no, that's wrong. No, you can't do that. It's like uh, okay. Like that was me in math. Like <laughs> that's kind of how I was. Yeah. In a lot of cases. Like. Yeah, there, there's a reason I failed like algebra so many. <laughs> um, but yeah, I get that. I I took a. Uh, programming class or whatever um we were supposed to make a calculator and I, like i made half of one and i was like i just god my brain like my brain was breaking right <laughs> like because i was trying to do so many different things with coding um and none of it was working i was like why why does this not, not work i did this like earlier like single parts it's like you exactly. can do parts of code but you can't make them work together yeah that's yeah, yeah. i hate it and my brain just does not work like that. 
Like, that's mm-hmm. why I play games that usually just have shooting and punching. Because that's, like, <laughs> how my brain yeah. works. Um, like, yeah. I can recognize an issue in coding some. Like, I can be like, that number is weird because, like, RAM, I can recognize, oh, this number is too big for how much is actually there. You know, uh-huh. like, I can recognize some numbers here and there and be like, okay, so I can see an issue. But there's no way I would be able to fix code or rewrite no. it. <laughs> like, no. No. No, no, no. no, no. Here. So, Here. obviously, we're going to try to make a game. Um, yeah! Well, I, I'm focusing on the writing part, so I'm avoiding the computers. But Good thing I don't have to write actual code. I mean, if, if I could, that would be nice because I could make my own plugin. But I'm we're just going to borrow other people's. We're using Scratch.com. <laughs> Oh, God. Go to our website, scratch.com slash jagam. Um, you'll find our game. Like, um, it actually bothers me that people can use, like, Scratch.io, Scratch.io, however people say it. Um, the fact I, people can actually use that site and make good games, it angers me. <laughs> like, yeah. I've seen some crazy, like, games come from there. I was like, what do you mean you made this on there? I've seen like, like how? five repeats of Flappy Bird. Like, I've seen games with like actually good graphics. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, pixel graphics, but like RPGs, you right. know, coming out of scratch. Like, I'm like, how? <laughs> like, how do you do that? Those are the people that actually do know a lot about computers um, and yeah. didn't just grow up at the right time. Like, enough to write code to write. Like, like because. You can't, like, put images into Scratch.io or whatever. Like, you have to make it with the code. Right. So the fact that they are creating algorithms to create sprites that also associate hex pixel, insane. Hexadecimal? What are you, you know, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, because, I like, mean, oh. at that point, just, like, code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use something else other than but, Scratch. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, people are wild, but it's really impressive what people like. Oh. I see. I wish I could do stuff like that. I could probably get there if I actually stuck to it for years at a time. But man, that that's a lot. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> um. So I renamed my book. It's no longer. Jacob the Anime and a Tale of Heroism. It's now Jacob the Anime and the Pressure of Prophecy. Ooh. Um, because I it like makes... That. I. Well, after like... At the beginning, I was like, oh, this, this title is fine. Because it's like, whatever. He's supposed to be a hero. Which he's not. But... <laughs> um, And then as I got further and further, I realized that the title was even less fitting. Um... And so I changed it. And the title is better now because it actually makes sense to what happens in the story. That's fair. Yeah. Because um, I didn't... Like, I read to um, where they started training. Like, that's where I last got to. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I forget the two girls' names, but, you know. Like, they were training with them and... Oh, my God, what was his name? We thought he was annoying, but he was in the book. Khalil? And there was also Khalil. No, not Khalil. It was the other guy. Nathan? Nathan, it's yes. Different, I different we Nathan, were but yeah. Yeah. Oh, different Nathan. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know about Nathan. I know. Um, so we were training with Nathan and Khalil and them, you know, and that was where I had last uh, stopped. But mm-hmm. up to that point, um, like, the main character was less of a hero and more fighting out of necessity. Uh, yeah. And just interested in the general power uh, than out of heroic acts. Yeah, which is why but, he changed the name. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, did you like, see my comment? <laughs> so, I don't know if you. I don't. Which one are you reading? Are you reading the old doc text document or the new one? So that was when I was reading the old. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten around to the new one yet. Um, that's fine. I'm not trying to call you out, but there Why is. Are you out, I so I like. <laughs> I'm obviously changing a bunch and like rewriting some stuff, and I added like descriptions of what you you and Isaac are wearing. And mm-hmm. I originally had you originally, 
like yesterday okay. night. I had you wearing like a red and black flannel because that's what I like remember you wearing a lot. Fair. And then I, I changed it to crazy. yellow and black. So like, oh, wait, you're like lightning. And then I could have Isaac wear a purple shirt. And mm-hmm. I'm wearing a red hoodie. It's like where the Power Rangers wearing the colors we're associated <laughs> with. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Love yeah. it. <laughs> And I, I left a comment it's like light lightning, like shadows. His powers are like purple. I'm wearing a red I'm wearing red like fire. We are basically that's, Power Rangers. That's funny. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. High key, what I would have done. I would have just wrote like wearing his converse with lightning. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little no, bit more subtle like... than that. Thank you. <laughs> Like wearing his lightning bolt converse. Yeah. No, you have your rainbow converse on. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh, oh no, I'm serious. Goodness. I wrote you have your. Oh, you have your, actually. Yeah. Yeah. His. Are they high tops? By the way. They are. Okay. I wrote his I high like top shoes top. were all black minus the rainbow threads that held the shoe that together. The shoes soles were also rainbow. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's what I wrote. Because I was like, he wears those shoes sometimes. Yeah. So. Oh my god, I actively made sure I didn't bring those. Like, I have to make sure I don't wear those shoes. And it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. Wear them where, huh? What? Like, just, like, some places, like, like I don't bring those to church, <laughs> for instance. Like, like, someone, like, was like, oh, hey, you know, we just need to stop by the church real quick. I'm like, I don't know why we're going to a church. All right, okay. let me take off my shoes um, really quick. <laughs> You know, so, like, before I left the house, I was like, I need to wear something not these. <laughs> like, I actually actively changed my shoes because, like, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. So, like, I... Man. Okay, so, originally, um, the guy busts through a wall. Like, he punches the guy through a wall and then breaks another guy's neck. I think I made it worse. Mm-hmm. I made it more intense. Um, so, what happens this time is um so lunch ends so we're all sitting together because we have to um and lunch ends and i turn around and we all like to go our separate directions like you and isaac go one way and i go to the other towards a door and the door is surrounded by people and like i can see bald-headed administrators inside the you know inside the crowd Mm -hmm. one of the administrators gets like flinged out of the crowd oh by the way i wrote (laughs) I wrote that I turned around and said, yo, there's a fight over there. And <laughs> Isaac responds, damn, can't even wait a day. And I, your your response is, for real, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was very really on like, point for something we would all say. I really like that. Like, the serious thing is going on in the background. And- yeah. Bro, like, what is well, that? this is before what he is gets that? punched. So it's like, for oh, real, okay. that's crazy. And then a hyphen, and then it says, Nick's words fell on deaf ears. One of the administrators tore out of the crowd at an impossible velocity. His ragdoll body smashed through a brick pillar, caving the ground behind. Um, so the crowd oh, crowd man. breaks apart, runs away, stampeding others. Um, they got trampled, blah, blah, blah. Not really important. The other admin tries to grapple the mysterious figure who is obscured by rushing teens. The figure grabs the admin's arms and pulls back towards himself. With two visceral snaps, the shoulders gave, ripping them from the admin's torso. The admin's body continues forward, meeting a swift knee that broke a hole into the admin's lifeless face. Yikes. Yeah. Which (laughs) I think... he was already dead. Yeah, yeah. Man was wild. (laughs) Yep. I think I made it worse, and I'm glad I did. (laughs) That's as far as I've gotten. Fair enough, fair enough. And then I wrote something so, else, and I think I'm going to change it because I don't like it. Oh, well, I'm going to have to read it before you change it. I'm already changing I'm changing it right now. Dang. I literally, dang. I literally just wow. backspaced. Okay. Wow. Is there what anything else? Change? Well, I guess we well, still have a little bit. That's what you changed. Okay, you so change what it was, it was a, it was a stupid joke where Jacob, so his phone has like, it's like, the uh-huh. the case is like melted because he has fire powers, and so it like mm-hmm. melted finger grooves into his phone, and yeah. um, we were like talking to the guy, the main bad guy, or the um the teen whatever, and um my phone like Jacob's phone rings, he pulls it out and like answers, it, and it's his mom, and like so he's like talking to his mom, and then he <laughs> hangs up and puts his phone away, and he says something. And then the guy's like, 
so you want it the hard way or whatever. And I haven't gotten past that. But the reason I even wrote it was because I was like, well, it'd be kind of weird if, like, he pulled out his phone and then, like, the guy noticed that it had, like, the ridges on it or something. But oh. I think there's a better way I could do it without doing that. Yeah, you could probably, like, bring up, like, the phone stuff, like, yeah. at a point of rest where they're, like, kind of taking, um... Oh, well, I, already... I, I had a good word and I lost it. I already brought it up. If you'd read oh, it. okay. So... <laughs> Fine, jeez. Uh, uh. Come on, it's our senior year. We gotta live it up. Nick cheered, waving his pale hands like pom poms. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh. He man. lifted his. Wait, okay, what? What is it? He lifted his head. Um, with a deeper shade of shad, shade of red. Jacob pulled his phone out of his pocket before whispering profanities. What's the matter? Nick asked, trying to look past Jacob's hands. Jacob tossed his phone out onto the table. Some of the girls glared over to their side of the table as the thud from the phone reverberated. Reverberated. I don't know why I added it down the table. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? Isaac grabbed the phone off the table, examining the finger grooves burned into the sides of the case. Man, I don't know. Today sucks, Jacob pouted. <laughs> he held his head. Okay, yeah, that's, that's yeah. fair. Okay, I could, I could definitely see that like response. Nah, just today sucks. It's been a yeah. rough one. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I'm, your day I'm, sucks, but I'm glad we got to hang out. Nick smiled from his seat. Nick, you're so you're such a positive force in this friend group. <laughs> I do appreciate the accuracy you put into the conversation. Because yeah. they are very accurate to how actual conversations for us go. You know, you know me. Having actual accuracy and attention to people's personalities it's almost like i talk to people sometimes <laughs> right yeah and i'm somewhat able at trans i'm somewhat able to translate that into convert writing like you would not believe how many people like will kind of take a guess at like something i would say and like dead wrong like i don't talk like that at all but you're right. one of the few people that you know Wow. Probably because we talk so much. Almost like, like we're actually 25 able. episodes into a podcast where we just talk to each other for like an hour. Sometimes right. an hour 30 minutes when we talk for short amounts of time. Yo, you actually listen to me and, and I know actually the words listen. I use? I just Whoa. like, the only person I kind of guess on is Isaac, just because it's been a while since I've like talked to him. That's fair. But That's I nice. always just like think he's kind of like me and like kind of his sarc like kind of dry humor. But I know it's a little bit different than mine. Yeah, so I try to change it a little, but he does. Yeah, he does have the kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the three of us need to do a Discord call at some point, or like play a game together. I don't yeah. know what games he has, but we need to do something. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Fantastic, and then we can like fight off a video game villain, exactly. or a video game player. Um. Yeah. We'll just all play Borderlands Three. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm definitely... Okay, so my mom was reading it out loud. And we got to the, we got to the part where I'm like... Where the guy's like beating me up. Uh -huh. And he like spit on me. And like... <laughs> and I wrote like the... Fought the uh, something for his flame. And I'm like, mom, please, for the love of God, stop reading. I cannot listen to this. I am <laughs> dying inside. <laughs> and I legitimately, I legitimately closed the tab. I was like, I cannot listen to this anymore. I'm cringing so hard. Cause why did I write that? That's so cringe. That is so cringe. Please. Did you change the line? <laughs> I haven't yet. I haven't gotten there. Oh, now I need. Now I need to find it. Like, okay, so Control F. It's. Blame. I can just tell you where it is. Well, I can type in spit and find it. Spit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuel for his fire. Uh, right, right, right. right where these three dots are. Therefore, Don't lie to I me. To yeah, here it is. Wait, no, it is not. Wait, yes, it is. Wait, no, it's not. Wait. I'm with them, Isaac said. Yeah, okay, so like, oh, I also changed everyone's age. We're now 18. Because... <laughs> originally we were like 16 and I was like that's I don't want to make this like a teen drama let's make us a little bit older Fair um enough. so because it is supposed to be our senior year or something? yes I changed it so, so it's our senior year yeah now. that and means not. both of y'all would be 18 and I'd be 17 well you're 18 Nick happy birthday um 
me see screen this visit to me. Don't lie to me, high schooler screamed. Aha! The high schooler screamed, getting into Jacob's face. Jacob felt a bit of a burn coming on in his heart. God. <laughs> Pulling a device from back his pocket. Yo, you fire... need some uh, you need some medicine for that, bro? The fire in Jacob's heart grew a little bit more. God, so cringe. <laughs> yeah, Jacob was able to feel the spit land on his face, the fuel for his fire. God, that's so cringe. <laughs> that is so cringe. Why did I write that? I know, <laughs> I know when I write that I wrote that, I was like, this is so cool. I'm so cool. This is so cool. This is so cringe. Why did I write this? I'm Oh man, that's awful. Yeah, some rephrasing here and there might. Rephrase, dude. I'm like, compl com like the first like seven pages have been like completely rewritten because like that's our dialogue weird. was so stupid, and I was like, this is garbage. We're not five. We're <laughs> we're, we're like eighteen. But, but you gotta keep the egg rolls, okay? You've I'm keep, keep the, the okay. Egg the egg rolls is funny. I'm definitely keeping the egg rolls. Because that's actually hilarious. <laughs> but, because that, okay. So at the beginning of the book, we're like, we have lunch together. It's like, oh my God, dude. Get a, Jesus, get a life. <laughs> and in this, we're kind of, we're already sitting with each other. Like we've already, you know, kind of figured out everything. And then we're just like talking because yeah. we're friends. But like originally it was kind of like, hey, what's up? But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it, it legitimately, I was, like, dying inside. I could not believe what I was hearing. Oh, man. Yeah, I can see why you've, you've changed things. Yeah. Like, like I it really, is a good thing to go back through and yeah, change things. I really think, post. like, the further down you go, I think probably chapter 7, or cha chapter 6 and 7 or, and 5, I think, will probably be, like, the best chapters. Because it's, like, the longer... <laughs> Yeah, the more the more chapters you go down, like the better the writing will probably get because I That's like fair. because it was more recent. Because I well yes, but um because like at the beginning, like Jacob the Animus is gonna be not it wasn't okay, so I knew what was gonna happen, right? But at the same time I was like coming up with things as I was writing it. So originally mm -hmm. there wasn't supposed to be two there wasn't supposed to be a clone in the forest. The original first fight was supposed to happen in the forest. Um, yeah. and then I just added that fight at the beginning of the game, or at the beginning of the game, beginning of the <laughs> book. Um, and I was like, well, I need to still fight in the forest, because that's kind of cool. And so I did that. And then I added Megan and Audrey. They had never shown up in any of my, like, notes or anything. They only showed up in this because I was like, well, Jacob's gonna die unless someone shows up. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fair, that's fair. So I put them in. And I'm glad I did because I like their characters a lot. Um, Nathan and Riley were always there. Aaron showed up at like the very last, second to last book. And I was like, okay, I want her to show up sooner because she's kind of an important character. Not kind of, she is an important character. So I moved her to the beginning, or the first book, not the beginning. Gotcha. Um, and also Sir Lance is a lot is my favorite character. Sir Lance is a lot. Yeah. Does he summon lances or something? <laughs> he no, he uses a lance. He's a knight. Okay. <laughs> and he and his his car, he calls it his steed. It's like a fiat. It's a very small car. That's funny. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you found that <laughs> funny because I thought it was funny. See, I was just thinking it would be funny if his name was Sir Lance. Sir, what? You cut it's, out. Like if he's Sir Lances a lot because he a lot of lances oh uh -huh. no he la you he know. just lances a lot he does a lot of lancing <laughs> of course of course i wrote uh, that when i was in sophomore year i'm pretty sure because he shows up he originally would show up in like the tournament arc which i got rid of so i don't i don't know if he, you'll ever do this i would love a joke he like somehow like you know something happens and he loses like what and then, like, you look back, and he's, like, pulling out another one from somewhere. <laughs> Where did you get that? Yeah, it was like, funny. you know, I just had it. I definitely, <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes sense in, like, kind of the crazy nature of this. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know if you'll ever do that. I just think that would be hilarious. It would be, <laughs> yeah. I, that'd probably happen later in a different book, <laughs> but that would be really funny. Oh, man. Um, 
So, I don't know. I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for the new revision, though. Like, because I do remember a few parts of, um, where, like, lines were just okay, but it was still good. Yeah. Um, or where there would just be a lot of words talking about some complicated issue. Or, yeah, I like, know. Like a big fight. I know. just, the second, the fight with the big monster is cringe. A lot big more monster. words than there need to be. Is that the one with, that Khalil summons? Or? Yes. Yeah, like there was, that one specifically was because it was a very complicated fight. Yes. And it mentions a lot of different enemies. Yes. So. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember after writing them, like that was like 30 pages of like nothing really. Or like it was a fight, but like I don't really know what happened. And that's again I just. It a few times. That's again like, just from like the idea of me trying to like coming up with things as I wrote it. Yeah. Which is kind of what's true. happening, what happened. But now I like actually have a <laughs> fit source. I'm just like changing everything to that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like streamlining. It, it mm-hmm. makes sense. Um. So yeah, like that, because like when I had first read it, I was like, oh man, this is such a cool fight. And then I was like, okay, what did I just read? Like, <laughs> like I. Like, I started zoning out while reading. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Read that back. Like, it's a, <laughs> yeah, so it's much. a lot of, like, he threw a punch. He got hit by the punch. Caved yeah. in a wall. He threw another punch. Caved in another wall. Threw a punch. Caved in a wall. It's like, okay, dude, I get it. Yeah. Because, like, I was trying to imagine these, like, the setting, but the setting was changing so much with... Yeah. I couldn't tell where they were punching or, like, you know. Brain went bonkers. <laughs> I mean, I still like the idea of the fight, but, like, I need yeah. to switched like, up a lot. It was... It was a cool setting for a fight. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of revision and it'll be great. How about you write it then? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, fine. Mm. Just, just like deleting. <laughs> <laughs> Deletes everything. I'm going to rewrite your book. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, I believe we are just over an hour, I think. Almost an hour and seven minutes. Why well, are you done talking to me? <laughs> yeah, you gonna go I'm talk to your other friends because they go laser tagging. The... Yeah, I'm gonna go laser tagging without you, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, you know what I think would be really funny. I had this idea because I passed. We passed the Chuck E. Cheese like three days ago or something. We went to a mm-hmm. bookstore, and I was like, it'd be really funny if, like, for my 21st birthday, we went to a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Like it'd be, and we'd like oh made God. a video and posted on like the Dagom channel. That'd be so funny, just like getting a pizza, <laughs> having like Charles Entertainment cheese, like running around partying with me. That'd be awesome. Amazing. I would. <laughs> yeah. All right. I kind of forgot his middle name was Entertainment. That's crazy. I don't think it. <laughs> I think that's a joke. I mean, it but it might, makes sense. It sounds true. Yeah. Um. Okay, this what has is been Enterprise. <laughs> Chucky, Charles Enterprise Cheese. That's funny. Goodness. All right, this has been the Tagon Podcast, episode 25. I just realized that's why I forgot to say the episode number. Um, <laughs> thank I you for know. listening. Um, we will probably be back next week unless something happens. Okay, bye. <laughs>